This is proof that Bella loves Danny more than anyone else. She does this all the time, and she'll, like, she'll lay on his head like that. <laughs> she lays on his head. She's How bad cute. Yesterday. Bella's cuddling with Danny's head. How cute. I just got, um, Duncan's iced coffee, and I always get the, um, mocha iced with cream and sugar. We are on our way to David's bridal because the last of my bridesmaids dresses came in and I'm kind of surprised because they said they weren't supposed to be in until April and they're all in already and it's been two weeks since we went for our fittings like for them to pick out the dresses and stuff so I was really surprised and it's good that they're in early but at the same time I'm kind of like not annoyed but it's just kind of like a bummer because now I have to store them in my house which it really isn't a big deal but it's just like I like look at them a lot because I'm excited <laughs> I just want to get married now but it's just like one more step closer so it just like it makes me so excited because it's just like one more thing for the wedding and I feel like Danny and I and like my family and stuff all we talk about is the wedding all anyone talks about to me is the wedding so if that's what we talk about a lot on here that really is our everyday life we just left the david's bridal and i saw this shirt and it's so cute i got it so for my flower cute. girl it was only 15 dollars, and it's just it's so cute because like obviously you get things for your bridesmaids and stuff but i wanted to get something for her too um she is near i hold her dear to my heart and danny does too actually she um <clears throat> we met her at church because her mom okay actually i'm gonna start to tell the whole story she was a foster child and we met her family who was fostering her at church and we started i would babysit her and danny and danny's sister and me were the only ones who would babysit her so we would babysit her and I like obviously we built a relationship with her and now they're in the process of adopting her she's four now and she'll be five for our wedding which is the perfect age because <coughs> um you don't have to deal with like crying or anything like that she's already mature for her age too so she's going through the adoption and it's been really hard because there's all kinds of problems with Dyfus and with her biological father and there's a lot of drama with it but um so that's it was like a no-brainer that she would be our flower girl because we love her and it's funny because she used to be scared of Danny when she was what say like two two maybe a year and three. a half two yeah two I guess she was terrified of him and we don't know why be, like her dad like that is adopting her he's taller than Danny is he's like what six three yeah six three probably. he's like six three so we were like it can't be that he's tall and um she would call him scary Danny <laughs> and she would cry and now she's like she'll run to Danny before she runs to me and she'll cry whenever she saw me yeah she, like if he walked in the room she'd like freeze and like cling <laughs> to you and now like she'll talk about it now she'll be like I used to be scared of Danny and like she'll <laughs> be like I don't know why I wish I wasn't and it's so funny she like remembers it I am a huge fan of peanut butter and this is the peanut butter that Danny and I eat and it's um natural and it's with honey and I don't know if anyone else does this if you do let me know but I get it on the spoon and then I dip it in jelly oops some got on to that like that and I eat it I am considering going well I'm doing dental hygiene for school and that's what I want my career to be but I'm considering maybe also doing cosmetology school and using that as something for the side because I love to do makeup. Hair, I'm not all that into, like, I do my own hair, obviously, but I'm not, like, I wouldn't say I'm good at doing other people's hair, really, but um, I love makeup. I love to do makeup, and I feel like if I, I love nails, too. If I went to cosmetology school and got that done, um, I could use it for a lot of different things on the side, like, for weddings, proms, I can cut Danny's hair and that'll save money and cut like our kids hair when we have kids and save money because like if you go to the barber 
or the girls if you go get your hair cut it's like at least thirty dollars and that's kind of ridiculous well that's the thing too like i feel like um people are kind of like judging us because even like we're young and like like people even in our, in our comments were saying like wow like you have a really like nice ring you have a really big diamond for someone who's like so young like and i feel like you worked for it and saved up for well it. yeah like i feel like people are like there's already the whole like you're young and you're getting married <laughs> and you're not like prepared in life but then they're also yeah. looking at us like and they're That's like amazing. how are you ha like why are you having such a big wedding like in such planned things because it's not even like it's a humongous extravagant well, it's wedding. not like it's like an average well it's not huge but people our age like if they have a wedding it's like in the courthouse like yeah or they'll have it like in a fire hall for the reception with like mm -hmm. lunch meat but we're having it at an actual place and we're going on an actual honeymoon and like people like kept keep asking me like are you going to go on a honeymoon and i'm like yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> if you just had to go to Wildwood for your honeymoon. Well, someone Danny knows, they went to Ocean City, because that's all they could afford, and I'm sure they had a great time, yeah. but, I mean. It's just about spending time with each other. It's, I want to go somewhere tropical, like Turks and Caicos. Um, but. They might have good coffee down there. They probably, they have good fish from, um. Yeah, yeah definitely. When we were driving, when, what when we were driving said. through, um. When we were driving through Deptford today, and we were passing like Red Lobster, I really wanted some fish. <laughs> Danny eats fish, and I don't. No, I tried tilapia, but apparently that's like chicken, the chicken of the sea. <laughs> <Chicken> <laughs> it's not sea. real fish. I tried it is um, real fish. I tried calamari. Um, but yeah, like even I had someone once when I was at work. I was at the register, and a lady was like, "Oh, your engagement ring is beautiful," <coughs> and I was like, "Oh, thank you." Like. She was asking when we get ma we're getting married. She's like, so how old are you? And I was like, oh, I'm 19. I might have been. And her face probably just went blank. Yeah, I might have been 18 at the time actually. And she was like, why are you getting married? And I was like, I didn't say anything. I just kind of like looked at her. Like crash and burn after they get married. Danny and I don't plan on being rich in our life or plan um, on rich money wise. Yeah, you money know. wise. Like we don't plan on living in a um, seven bedroom house or. You know, if that's that's great if that's what we want to do. That's just not what we want to do. Yeah, we don't. That's not our plan in life, and we don't look at money as they something. Just want the average lifestyle. We don't like our um, definition of success doesn't involve money, really. I mean, I feel like we'll be successful if we can afford what we have and we are happy. So when I feel like to, in today's world, everyone everything's just about money, and everything's just about like how far you can get, especially with how the economy is in the United States. Mm -hmm. So when people look at it, at us, they're just like, these people, these people aren't ever going to be anything because we're not going to be a lawyer or a doctor or something where we're making six, seven, eight figures. So um, we'd rather be the average American person rather than people who work 70 hours a week and don't spend time with their family. There's the culprit. Then you have to get that. I have to. Oh, it's so nasty. All right. Ugh. You have to make sure you squish it all the way. Don't like, don't let what it fall. What if I break your mom's plate? I don't care. <laughs> Stop. Just get it's it. It's in its little web. Ew. I'll make sure it's squished all the way. It is. Squish it more. I see Stop. It. I felt splitter web on me. Okay. Squish it a few more times. Kelsey, I got it. It's fine. Don't it's... throw that. Just like walk to the trash can. Stop. <laughs> Proper disposal. The spider is dead. Woo! Yes, we got it. The feet. Um. <laughs> crap. Totally missed. I sink. am so scared of spiders. I always feel like they are going to like crawl in my ear that's like my biggest thing with spiders like i'm scared it's gonna crawl in my ear i wanted to show everyone the nail polish rack that danny made me for christmas he made the whole entire thing by himself um he made it all out of wood and he measured it and painted it himself and everything isn't this the cutest mug you've ever seen it's a dachshund mug which is the kind of dogs that i have and it says love and it goes all the way around the whole mug I think it's so cute. I got it from Target. It was like, I think it was $2.99 or $3.99. <laughs> Hi. This is our flower girl's bedroom or over at her house right now. And I think it's the cutest room. 
it's like so colorful and like it's so cute and she has so many clothes they don't fit in her closet nisa has a picture we gave her for her birthday of us on halloween we carved a pumpkin with her and this is nisa say hi everyone hi what are you doing for my wedding for my and danny's wedding what's your job you know what are you gonna do tell everyone what are you gonna do what color? Red. Yeah! Can you practice? Do you know how you're gonna do it yet? <laughs> yeah. Can you do a little twirl with your pretty outfit? Mm. Beautiful! How old are you? Four and a half. Four and a half, because you're a big girl. Where are you going in two days? Disney World. Disney World. And who are you excited to see? Mickey and Minnie. What princess do you want to see the most? Let me guess. I'm thinking. Hmm. Rapunzel. Rapunzel. She's the one. I, I was gonna I, say Belle. I, I want Rapunzel, Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty, and Belle. And Belle. I figured Belle would be at least one of them. <laughs> this is the poem I wrote Nisa when I asked her to be my flower girl. What did you used to call Danny? Scary. Why was he scary? You were just a baby. Yeah. Wah! Is he scary to you now? Yeah. Oh. Turn him into a frog. frog. What do you frog? Grandpa. Oh my God. Danny. Oh, Lisa, what's going on? <laughs> Grandpa. Oh, I'm not a grandpa, what are you talking about? I think he died. Danny! Whoa, what am I doing down here? Uh, we were turned to grandpa! I'm not a grandpa, what are you talking about? What are you looking for, Kelsey? With what on them? Why are you looking for hearts? Oh, it's like, I don't like hearts. Why are you looking for hearts? That's what I want. Well, why would there be hearts on things this time of year? Oh, Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, Is that's that right. I said that before. Yeah, that's, that's in a few weeks. It's like three weeks away. Um, that's like four weeks away. Are girls supposed to get boys things for Valentine's Day? I think that's an option. I think the guy definitely needs to get a girl something, but it's optional for the girl to get a guy something. I don't really care if I get anything from you. Besides hugs and kisses. It's... I want to know if anyone, like, if people think that they should get, if a boy should get something, especially like if you're engaged or married, like, is that necessary. What do I think? See, I don't, I don't know, do I usually get you things? I don't even know. Me, me getting something for you is a gift in itself to me. Like, I, I you know, it, I, I have an honor in giving you something. It feels like I'm getting something. I think that's ugly. I think that's kind of nice, except there's no hearts on it. But I think that's ugly. There's like an X on it. It's like the X covered. It's like, I don't know, it's just ugly. Like, let me see that. That's, you no. look good on me. I think I have style. Not like me. I just think that... Damien, listen. Every I usually time... don't care what you get because usually... No, listen, no. You, no, listen to me. Usually, usually I like what you're getting. And usually I don't really care that much, but this is ugly. I think this is ugly. But a lot of times, but there's been times where you're like, that's ugly, and I put it on, you're like, oh, that actually does look good. Well, that you know that happened. Not, there's... not in this situation. I, I can just tell. I think that's ugly. I'm sorry, guys, but I hate that trend with those spiky things. It reminds me of, um, what's that character, um, 
the character in Super Mario or something. I don't know. It's like a turtle. Bowser. Bowser. I think you're, that's what I'm talking about. It reminds me of him. So I ended up getting the sweater. I tried it on and guess who was right? Danny ended up liking it at, when I tried it on like I said he would. And that's just... Usually, I I know. Usually, I know. Not with clothes. No, oh, no, you... No, that is not true. Kelsey, when, Kelsey, that is not true. When have I tried something on? I remember, like, every time I said... No, but I'm saying, I'm saying, usually... Watch your stuff. Usually, with clothes, I know if it looks good or bad. I'm usually pretty good at telling. I just... I don't know why I didn't... You just couldn't tell? I just had a little... You had your doubts. You I doubted had, me. No, I had you a little... You doubted me. No, listen, I had a little... Just a little episode of confusion. Um, confusion. I don't know. I usually can tell. I don't know why I couldn't. I never use bad judgment with clothes, though. Yeah, that's what I meant. I had a little episode of bad judgment, but I usually have good judgment with that kind of thing, and you know I do. Yeah, he is pretty good, actually. You know I am good, so don't even say that I'm not. Danny got me chocolate milk from Wawa because... I haven't eaten anything today except for a few spoonfuls of peanut butter and I had like three chunks of ice cream. <laughs> like three, She like... is very healthy today. Well, I wasn't hungry today and I just wanted like to taste, there's like chunks in the ice cream so I wanted a few of them so like I really didn't get chunks actually because of course there were like none in there but that guy in there is looking at me like I'm crazy. But um, <laughs> so I guess he's trying to fatten me up because this has I'm telling you 160 more. calories and two servings, so that's like as much as like 300 calories. As much as like I want it, I want you to eat healthy. Like the most important thing is that you actually eat something, and you you don't eat something sometimes. So I'm shoving chocolate milk down your throat. A lot of times, I actually forget to eat. She she forgets to eat when I'm in she, school. She's not. She doesn't. She, a lot of times she says she's not hungry, which I do believe that she's not hungry because she probably has the stomach the size of a pea, just like Bella's bladder. <laughs> and uh, she, she is forgetful. She forgets to eat. She forgets to have her meals. I guess we should edit and when we get back to your house and call it a day. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>